Hi guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, uh, I have a sample data set of students here and we are going to learn how do we identify the max date or the latest date that we have in our data set. For example, if I filter out on one of the student over here, I want to know what is the max date that I have for David, that is 5th March. I want that as an output in my uh, table. So this is what we're going to be learning today. So let's get started with this tutorial. So the first thing that I will be doing here is I'm going to click on these three ellipses and click on new measure. So I'm going to call this as max date is equals to I'll start with defining a variable over here. Let's define a variable here called as name is equals to max of my name from the students table. Okay, and then let's go to the next line here type in return. And then in the following line, I'm going to be using the max function, which is double X. And I'm going to say filter. And I need all of the data irrespective of whether it is filtered in the data set. So I'm going to use all of the data. Here it's asking us to enter the table name. I'm going to enter students as my table name, comma. And then we need to look up the student name is equals to the variable that we've created here on top okay is equals to that and then return the so it's asking us to enter the expression here for the max table so what do we want in return is the date so i'm going to type in uh, date from my students table students table date okay i'm going to close the bracket here and press enter so let's see what happens. So let's bring this into a table now. Let me bring in the name and max state that we've created. And let's quickly format this uh, max state over here and bring this particular table over here. So if you can see here, uh, for David, it's showing as 5th of Mar March. So let's quickly check if that is correct. So we have filtered on David now and the last or the max state that I have is 5th March. Likewise, let's look for Mark. So when I look, for when I click on mark, the last date here is 30th November. That's exactly what we have in here in the particular measure that we just created. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope this video has helped you. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.